Hey everybody, I'm Todd Anderson. And I'm Michael Majors. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. Alright, so this week we're going to be playing a little more standard in preparation for SEG Regionals this weekend. Uh, if you want to figure out where your local regionals is at, just use the regionals locator on the uh, the main portion of the StarCityGames.com website. Uh, just type in your uh, what zip code. Yeah, that sounds right. That? Sounds sounds about right. Uh, but yeah, so we we've got two weeks of standard under our belt now. Uh, SEG Regionals is also the same weekend as the Pro Tour, which will also feature standard. Uh, a lot of the games, the greatest minds coming together, trying to break the standard format, as well as uh, kind of weave their way through six rounds of Ether Revolt Limited. I'm always trying to weave my way through the six rounds of Booster Trap. <laughs> yeah, no no one is usually uh, <laughs> usually that good at limited, except for like five people on Earth. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so this weekend there's a lot going on. Um, you know, we, we had Richmond this weekend. We're filming this right before SEG Richmond. So uh, we are going to be playing decks uh, from the previous week at uh, SEG Columbus where uh, it was taken down by Brendan DeCandio's Black Green Delirium deck. Three Black Greens out of the top four decks when we expected a lot of Sahili Rai combo, which actually took up the majority of the feature match slots. I wasn't aware of that, actually. Uh, yeah, just it felt like, I mean, I, I, I was actually staying home the last weekend, and I, I watched a lot of coverage, and it felt like almost every round there was one of the two decks or both playing Sahil Rai combo. Yeah, I think a big reason that those decks kind of rose to the top and eventually won the tournament, and there's uh, various Sahili decks in the top four or even the top eight, is that Walking Ballista is just so good in those decks, and it like naturally keeps in check the combo. Yeah, what's the snake's name? News Constrictor. Or, I always keep saying ah, that. Ah, ah, it's Winding Constrictor, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, just know, I just know that it is a snake, and it is great. I keep saying these constrictors. Yeah, so uh, uh, Winding Constrictor is basically um, hardened scales with legs. Well, it's a snake. It is a snake. Okay, it doesn't have <laughs> legs. Man, I'm just getting destroyed over here. 2-3 uh, body on a snake is, is a pretty big deal for a two-drop creature. You know, we're used to seeing a lot of these black-green two-drops, like Grim Flare, uh, even uh, to an extent Putrid Leech only having two toughness to start with. And uh, now we, we have this 2-3 that doesn't die to Shock, which is one of the uh, the new removal spells that was a reprint out of Ether Revolt, but also doesn't die to Galvanic Bombardment uh, or even Deadweight. So a lot of these one-mana removal spells won't kill this two-drop creature, which means that your opponent's probably going to be spending two and sometimes even three mana to deal with it. And in the meantime, hopefully you can get a little bit of value out of it. And one of the biggest ways to push that advantage is with Walking Ballista. Yep, agree with everything you said. Uh, turn two Constrictor into turn three Rishkar is a, such a brutal curve. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff going on in 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 that deck, and uh, you know we saw three of the top four being the black green strategy in uh, slight variations. Obviously, Brendan yeah. Kendio's version. Uh, able to go a little bit bigger, he had uh, Ishkana on the sideboard, I believe, so he could kind of transform into the more tried-and-true version of gra Black Green Delirium that we're used to. Uh, the other versions featured stuff like Minerak Demon, which were uh, a little bit harder hitting. I think Minerak Demon got a lot better now the Reflector Mage is gone. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so a lot to really soak in after the first week. You know, Sahila Rai combo, people thought it was going to dominate uh, the format. You know, people thought that uh, it was going to be too good. And honestly, I... I don't know where I stood. I, th I think that I was on the fence about it. I didn't really want to play it, which means that I didn't think it was that good. Uh, but after watching it in action, it felt like people were really bringing these decks that didn't necessarily rely on the combo and just kind of had all these sweet um, you know, interactions with blinking things or copying things. Like being able to blink a Torrential Gearhog, for example, is just ridiculous. I haven't done it yet, but it sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, and the fact that uh, your Feldar Guardian can also hit stuff like Cloud Blazer, you know, you can go in the four-color direction, uh, which you'll do later this week against Samaras, I yep. believe. Oath of Nissa um, is a really nice interaction. Yeah, and uh, all the Oaths, uh, Oath of Chandra, Oath of Jace, Oath of Nissa, all very good uh, ways to interact with, with the Feldar Guardian uh, that are also just pretty decent on their own. So... Anyway, that's not what we're going to be playing today. <laughs> uh, get that out of my system. Uh, today, I'm, I saw a, a lot of coverage from last weekend, and I watched Jim Davis play a lot with his blue-black control deck, and I wanted to give it a, a shot for myself. I felt like it had a lot of potential. Um, it is a, kind of a goofy do-nothing Jim Davis control deck, uh, which he is known for playing, but it looked really good when he was playing it. You know, he had a lot of spots where he was a little bit behind, and then he just found one of his four copies of Torrential Gear Hulk and just turned the game in his favor. The only downside, he has four Glimmer of Genius and no way to spend the energy. I'm kind of curious about that. 
Uh, I don't. I want to. You I just desperately want to fit something that yeah, spends just, energy. Just splash some harness lightnings, man. It's Doom Blade. It's great. Just put like one Aether Hub in. That'll make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be what I'm going to be playing today. A lot of counter spells, a lot of removal, not a lot of win conditions. What are you playing, Michael? I'm playing Dan Jessup's uh, Esper Aggro deck, which was also featured in the top 64. I was kind of looking for something a little bit more off the wall that was aggressive. We're going to be showing off a lot of the black green uh, later this week. And this deck looked pretty sweet. It gets to use Heart of Kieran and Metallic Rebuke to some good effect. And just like some nice little artifact synergies, incidentally, with like Toolcraft Exemplar. And we're beaten down, so it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, the deck did lose Smuggler's Copter, which I think is a pretty big deal. I thought Smuggler's Copter was the best card in the deck by a wide margin. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the reason why it played Scrap Heap Scrounger and stuff, uh, you know, Jim Davis's version from the Invitational, was because it lets you play the very powerful one drop in Toolcraft Exemplar. Now, Heart of Kieran being legendary is a little bit of a problem. Yep. How many copies are in your deck? <laughs> Four. Four. <laughs> you got to kill it. It's huge. Yeah, it is very big. Uh, anyway, that's going to be the matchup today. Esper Agro from Day Jessup versus Jim Davis, Blue Black Control. Uh, let's go and get to the match and see who takes it down. All right. Play poker hand, see who goes first. Let's do it. All right. <gasps> two, three, two, two. I only have a pair. Uh, I have quads. You have quads? Quads. Man. How exciting. I feel like if you get quads or better, you should you should get something. Maybe five of a kind. You should get to go first all five games. <laughs> That's really unlikely. I know. So we thought the 7-Elevens game was going to be also pretty unlikely, but it happened we've a done times. it three times now. That's, that is a in lot. In the last, like, two months. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here for game one, I'm on the play, and my hand is super solid, so I'm going to keep. Okay. Uh, my hand is also pretty decent. Uh, we have all of our colors, a couple of removal spells, and some interactions, so sure. Play my courtyard and pass turn. All right, no one drop is pretty good for me. I guess I can bluff a fatal push. Unlike last week where I bluffed fatal push and had fatal push, and then <laughs> and then I got to cast it. <laughs> Go. All right. If I was on the play, that would be much less of a problem. All right. Uh, same deal. Your turn. Hmm. It's an interesting pickup. All right, hit you first. Yeah, we'll just go to seventeen. And I'm going to play a Toolcraft Exemplar. I think I'm going to horribly ride this. Feels a little bad because he's probably just going to play another Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay. Go. Selfless Spirit, not as annoying, I suppose. Uh, Getting or something next turn. Might be bad if we if we make a mistake. Well, don't goof. I guess, I guess we won't make a mistake. I'm just going to fatal push this. I think you always target Selfless Spirit because so, you don't want to give them the option. Yeah, that's reasonable. All right, tech. Yeah, 14. Yep. Yep. We could have instead on, of casting fatal push then taken two damage and then used one of our three mana spells. There you go. combat trigger. All right. Uh, trigger on the stack. He doesn't... Oh, you do have black mana. Yeah. So, uh, sure, I'll just grasp darkness that. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and try to push through some damage. That's not good. All right. Attack Take six. six and an eight. Go. That's going to be a quick game. Uh, don't really have any, a good... Any removal spell. Yep. Yeah. Scrappy Strunder is going to be a problem, eventually. I mean, we are at 8, so it's technically a problem right now. <laughs> I don't know which one of these removal spells I want to use. I suppose I should do Ruinous Path because it's a sorcery. We want to do it now, and the other one's an instant. And I'll just kill this. Yep. Go. Deck does not have a lot of ways to beat Scrappy Strunder in game 1. After game one, we get a lot of Kalidus. Okay. We can kill it a whole lot. All right, spell caller. Um, Just need to do some resolves. smushing. I'll kill it. Yep. Attack. Yep. That two. Need a gear hulk. Okay. I'm just going to play Soulful Spirit. Yep. That's probably going to be yep. it. We got this Blighted Fin. 
takes all this mana. We need to draw exactly Fatal Push. I don't think our deck has... Oh. Tight. Ooh, ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go. Upkeep. Yeah. Uh, fatal Push? I'll sacrifice my creature. All right. I just found. Okay. Drew exactly Fatal Push. Yeah, I'll play this Gideon. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can still draw Torrential Gear Hulk and, and maybe not be dead. Or my knights. They're the knights. All right. Torrential Gear Hulk? All right. We drew a Submerged Boneyard, and we have this debate <laughs> for the entire game. Yeah, Scrappy Scrounger is real good against this deck. Yeah. All right. We're here for game two. I'm going to be on the play after getting pummeled in the first game. Uh, this hand is okay. It needs some card draw and hopefully a win condition. Yeah, I could use some card draw, too. I'm on a mulligan <laughs> to six. Uh, hand is perfectly acceptable, but it's going to need a little help. This is so close. I think this is a keep. I'm going to keep it. Right. Your turn. Okay. I'm going to play Toolcraft Exemplar. Um, yeah, kill him. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Don't want to get main deck rebuffed or yeah, something. Yeah, shrug, kill him. Clue. Go. Yeah, shrug, kill him. Okay. <laughs> uh, Go. Go. Your turn. Okay, I'm clue you. Yep. No punishes. <laughs> Go. What is going on over there? Not much. Go. Um, selfless spirit. Uh, sure. Go. Rebuke. Rebuke? Wow. That's... Ugh. That's brutal. Tech. All right. 18 me. Go. All right. Maybe we'll take it over now, though. Ugh. Is it resolve? Ugh. Yes. Grasp? Yep. Yeah, get a zombie. Go. I wonder if I'm supposed to sacrifice in response. <laughs> to the Kalidus? <laughs> craziness. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to untap and kill it immediately. I mean, I am. Maybe. So, like, I, I, sh I mean, it, it sounds kind of absurd, but I think it's closer than it seems. Yeah. Tilt. Okay. I only have one Cletus in my whole deck. It's mine now. Yeah. It's not like you stole it from me. Go. Kind of did. It's in stasis. It's in sleepy mode. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Go. Spell color. Resolves. Tech. Yeah, 16 me. Go. Go. Spell color. Yep. This deck needs a Yehini's expertise. Tech. Fuck. <laughs> 12. <laughs> two cards. I have two cards. Um. Yeah, I think we can make a move. This is just going to get countered, but whatever. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just drew a whole bunch of lands. Yep. My opener Go. was this, and I've drawn two spells and that. Oh, wow. That would have been real good last turn. Glimmer? No. Go. It's classic disallows. Well, just don't, uh, don't ultimate, you know? I think you're gonna, but don't. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> play the scrounger. All right, I'm gonna confirm suspicions. Oh, that's why I drew. I'm gonna rebuke my own scrounger. Man, that is the smartest thing I have heard all day. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> that was so smart. <laughs> Plus my kid. Yeah. How much is this? Er, Five, Seventy-nine. You're twelve. Eleven. Twelve. Yeah. To or er, I'm gonna return this. Trigger this. Yep. 
and then attack with everything. Uh, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So block the exemplar. Okay. Go to one. Go. Counter my own spell, man. Brutal. All right, we're back here for sideboarding on the Esper Agro side. Pretty simple stuff uh, for me. I'm basically just going to be adding some more cheap interaction, some more counter spells, which are good against Todd's removal and like his card draw spells, a dispel and two negates, and kind of just shaving on some stuff. Stasis Nair is, is close because Todd's probably just going to be bringing in a bunch of Kalidas's, and he already has Torrential Gear Hulk, which is something I kind of need to deal with. But drawing more than exactly one Stasis Snare can be bad in a lot of situations, but I might be moving up to four again post-board on, like, game four or five. Boarding out a Metallic Rebuke. Basically, the only scenario where this card is better than Negate or Dispel is, again, the creatures like Kalidus and uh, Torrential Gear Hulk. But, I, again, as we saw, like, in game two, they can get kind of clunky and stay in your hand for a while, not do much. So I think I want to board out a copy there. And then Heart of Karen just gets worse the more removal spells you're playing against, so I'm willing to shave a copy for right now. Okay. All right, on my side, uh, we're going to be trying a weird transformation type style of package. Uh, basically, just going to be bringing all the cheap stuff from my sideboard that can interact with them. We're going to have uh, four Fatal Push, plus two Dead Weights to help handle his one and two drop creatures. Uh, two more Kalidus, uh, hopefully to help exile stuff like Scrap Heap Scrounger, but also just to be like a cheap way uh, to put pressure on not only uh, Gideon, but just in general if Michael ever wants to tap out to deploy some creatures to the board, I want to be able to punish him with Kalidus plus one drop removal to make a zombie. Uh, another Runus Path to help out with Gideon, plus any sort of sideboard shenanigans like Jason Raveler Secrets. And then a fourth Negate because I want my Counterspell to be only targeting Gideon, trying to counter the creatures I think is a bad idea. Uh, we're going to be cutting a lot of our counter spells, uh, even the ones Exile, Void Shatter, and Horribly Rai. These are pretty good against Scrap Heap Scrounger, especially on the play, Horribly Rai is okay. But I don't want to get to a situation where I'm behind on board and just have a handful of counter spells because Michael's able to get under me pretty easily. So we're just going to be all catch up with removal spells and nothing that plays badly from behind. All right. Except negate. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stop that Gideon somehow. Yeah. All right, I'm on the play again after getting annihilated last game as well. Hope that uh, comes to an end right here. This hand is not the hand to do it necessarily. We very much want to draw some more card draws since we haven't drawn any in two games. Uh, but, I mean, Michael's deck is fast enough where we don't really have a lot of time, so it makes sense. But yeah. this hand is okay. I, I took a mulligan to six here, and this is <laughs> probably the hand that uh, Todd is going to beat me up if it's going to happen. Um, yeah. Not, not really much to say here. Obviously, this is a bit of an eyesore, but... We have something to do, so we'll see how it pans out. Scry. Oh, this is so weird. We're really far off this card being good at all, but it might just be the kind of thing we need to win this game, so I am going to keep it. All right. Chug Dash Warrior, I'm going to reveal Swamp. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to play Fork Town, reveal an island. Okay. Your turn. Your turn. Play that Swamp. Heart of Kieran. Yep. Go. Go. Play Port Town, Reveal Island. Play Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay. Crew. Smoosh. Uh, try to murder it. Sure. Go. All right. While the shields are down, I'm going to play this Kalidus and hope for the best. Scrap. Your turn. <laughs> no Reflector Mage is great here. That means that he can't progress his board while dealing with Kalidus. He can only spend most of his turn to get rid of it with something like Stasis Snare. Playing a Gideon, uh, there's a... I guess it's a very small chance that his Gideon will die, but I'll be able to basically clear his board if he wants to keep the, the Gideon alive. So, puts him in a relatively tough predicament. All right, and play Heart of Kieran and say go. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> go. All right, so we have to be a little careful here. Uh, I guess we don't. <laughs> Just got it all, no worries. All right. I don't really want to use my removal spell on the Heart of Kieran, though. I'd much rather get rid of the Scrap Heap Scrounger. But I also want to attack, so we'll attack. All right, I'm going to try to take my shot. All right, murder the heart of Kieran. Spell it. 
Oh, man, if you have two dispels, I'm going to be very upset. Yep. All right, so we get a zombie. You take three. I gain three. Yep. So 23, 17. Your turn. Double dispel would have been a brutal. Pretty nice, yeah. Um... Man. I'm not really sure what we can do with this card. Could just make an emblem and just maybe try to draw a stasis snare some way to weather the storm against this Kalidus. If we made a night ally, then we're basically just jump blocking Kalidus every turn. We might not be able to get anywhere from there. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just... I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to make an emblem. Okay. Attack for four. Yeah, 19. And I'll play a three of Inspector. Okie dokie. Okay. All right. Play Blighted Fin. Uh, I guess we can maybe attack with just Kalidus. So if we can main phase the Blighted Fin, but that leaves our shields down... Uh, if he sacks the Thraven Inspector, we can attack for five. If he sacks Scrappy Scounder, that's really good for us also. So I think that's better since he has no cards in hand. We'll just go ahead and Blighted Fin you. Either way, we're going to get a zombie there. Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to race, so I think I'm just going to sack the Scrounger. All right. Then I'll just attack for three. Yep. So 22 to 14. Yep. Here's your All right, gonna crack this clue. <clears throat> Play this toolcraft exemplar and pass the turn. All right, back. No blocks. Um. All right, just take three. Uh, right. Eleven to twenty-five. Yep. Raven Inspector. Yep. Clue. Just go ahead and sack the clue. Play another exemplar. Pass the turn. All right, so right now you have two, four, six, eight to put on this, and we can only make it an eight toughness, but we can threaten to make it bigger if we sack a zombie right now. So let's just go ahead and do that. Yep. Alright, All right, so if we attack with the Cletus right now and he quadruple blocks, we can make this a seven, kill three creatures and get three zombies and gain a bunch of life, but our Cletus will be down, but it'll be three zombies versus a three of an inspector. I don't hate that, but I also think just having Cletus in play for a few more turns is just better. So, so we draw a removal spell, you can no longer actually do that. So I'm just gonna say go. Don't love it, but at this rate he can't attack into Kalidus ever. Go. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and use our mana. Let's do this. Draw one of our bajillion removals. And there's a chance he just doesn't even block too. So. All right, let's start with a Glimmer. Mm, I'll negate it. All right, well, not going to get a whole lot of use out of this, I guess. So yep. Negate back. Uh, this deck actually doesn't have a way to use the energy, so after this game, I'm probably not even going to represent it. Uh, Scry, top two is just two removal spells. We're fine with that. Crap. And... There we go. All right, probably need to draw Stasis Snare this turn. Did not. Yeah, we, we gave him the window to draw the Stasis Snare there, to, but where if we attacked, we are either getting in seven damage or getting three zombies and clearing most of his board. But considering what we drew last turn, I think it's just better to do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take this hit. I still don't think I can win the game unless I draw Stasis Snare. All right, four to 32. Yep. Uh, we're going to Runa's Path 
this, and target this. I yep. get a zombie, and my land becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Sorry. And then, go. Okay. One last look. I'm going to go ahead and sack the clue. Mm -hmm. Um, Does that do anything? I guess it could. All right, go. All right, just this. So this is a 7-8 with the potential to be a 9-10. So I have 3, 6, 9, 11, uh, 14 toughness. So the fact that these Thraven Inspectors can kind of D up on zombie tokens indefinitely means I think I should just chump this turn and then, again, just try to draw Stasis near. Okay. So you go to 39. Yep. Here we go. And it comes to play tapped. Oh, you're right. <laughs> um, all right. Well, this might do something. It does brick wall me for a little while. Yeah. Make us a uh, night alley. Yep. Go. Uh, murder the Thalia. And I don't think I want to sack any of my zombies right now. Weird game. Yeah. What happens if I attack you with these two? You basically just go chump, double block, and attack with everybody. You have to go chump, chump, or double block, chump. Sorry, this block's here, these two block here. You get to eat one of these. No, you can't double block. If you double block, you take four. So, all right, how right about you? Yep. Um. Here, two zombies yep. and chump. All right, the the two zombies that you're gonna eat, I'm just gonna sack both of them. Sure. All right, so you're gonna take two. Uh, I gain eleven. Yep. And I get how many zombies? One zombie. One zombie. So two to fifty is what I have. <laughs> uh. Yep. We'll play this. Go. All right. Got to draw a thing. That's not really a thing. Um, yep. Yeah, foiled again by the can't block. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> we have. Oh yeah, four attackers. Sorry. All right, back here for game four. Uh, s very small adjustment in sideboarding. I went ahead and removed the second heart of Kieran for the fourth stasis snare again. Just felt like Cleus was the easiest way I can just get run over. Um, Sam looks fine. Needs a little help, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I should actually keep this hand. Um, I would much rather any of these cards in my hand be an extra land. Uh, we have to draw at least one land, probably two, in the first couple draws to have a shot. So, I'm going to keep it, though. We have a lot of ways to buy time. Okay. All right. No one drop. It's actually not great for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is very interesting. I think just because Todd doesn't have open mana, I want to play this card. Go. Sure. All right. I feel like that's just going to be how it is. Go. Need running lands till the end of time. All right. We're just going to go ahead and play this Thalia, even though it's a little goofy. Not that goofy. Worst land possible. Island? Go. At least it didn't come into play tabbed. I'd much rather have been a black land that came into play tabbed. That was definitely a good draw. All right. Uh, attack. Yeah, 17. Play Heart of Karen. Unfortunately, it was All right, I'll <laughs> take it back. This was worse than those. Yeah, that sounds okay. about right. Your turn. <laughs> um... Yep. Try this. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's really close. Mm. 
I'm gonna rebuke it. Huh. I just assumed it was gonna get quellered. Smart. Uh before combat. Sure, sure. So you have to pay one more. Yep. Okay. Uh yep. take four I'm at thirteen. 13. Go. Come on, deck. There you go. I have no idea why Blight of Finn is in this deck. So many double blues and double blacks. All right, before attacks, try again. Yep. Tight. Worked. Selfless parent. Uh, yep. Go. Uh, go. Yeah, I probably should have mold. Tight. <laughs> I'm at eight. Go. All right, play this. Is this main piece? Yep. Mm. Go. Emblem. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you did. I, I did. You win. <laughs> All right, we're here for the fifth game, and I'm down 3 1, uh, which means I can't win anymore, but we can try to salvage and not get embarrassed by a 4 1. Uh, A.K.A. what I call the Ross Merriam special. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't go into why it might be called that, but um, <laughs> um uh, my hand's fine. How's yours? Yeah. So this hand is like really great at lining up against a specific draw from Todd. And if he doesn't have that kind of draw, then it's it might be kind of bad. But we have some early plays. Curious right. to see. Port Town, Real Plains, play exemplar. Hmm. What do I do here? All right, so this is actually the weirdest spot. So this is the only thing that turns this on. Uh, I have to draw running dual lands to make Sunken Hall kind of play untapped, but I only have to draw one thing to make the Choke Dash Warrior come in untapped. Uh, kill that. Go. We have another land, which is good, but all right. Well, I drew it anyway. Yep. And I think I just want to kill it and hope he doesn't have black mana in the future. So we're just gonna main phase, essence, and extract extraction. And go to twenty-three. Yep. Your turn. Yep. This is kind of one of those scenarios I was talking about. Go. This is just basically perfect for Todd. Go. Go. Uh, three minutes, Inspector. Um, okay. Go. I'll try a glimmer, I guess. I'll rebuke it. All right. Man, I gotta start doing that in response. In response yeah. Man, Metallic Rebuke's getting me real good. All right. Gear hold. Glimmer. Yep. All right, so we're gonna get two energy, which I'm not gonna bother with because we don't use energy. Uh, we're gonna put one on top. All right, your turn. Crack McClue. Near that, hit you. There. Go. Uh, 22. <clears throat> it's low ish on mana, um, which makes me want to try to resolve a glimmer here, but uh, I really don't want me to resolve glimmer and then him go uh, Gideon plus rebuke and I can't pay. So, I'll just say go. Attack. And I'll take it. 21. Go. All right. Glimmer again. You have how many cards? I have three. I um, guess we also could have waited just to play around Rebuke as well. Yeah, I'll Rebuke it. All right. I'll try to negate. I'll negate back. All right. My, <laughs> if you would even call it something resembling a lead, is so small that 
I think I just have to fight his cards. All right, I'm gonna just fatal push this. Yep. You don't have black, right? No, I don't. And you have you already have another creature in your graveyard anyway, so yep. okay, your turn. Basically, Todd's just doing this to set up his blighted fin. Go. Ooh. Going off. Yep. Yep. Resolves. Crack my clue. Still garbage. <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, go. Oh, okay. That'll play. Tilt. All right. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Oh, sure. Yep. Go. Go. You draw Cletus real bad. Thalia. Okay. Ooh, maybe this is bad. Yeah, whatever. Go. Oh, it's bad. Grasp okay, it. I didn't get punished. It's like maybe I should have like done this first. I guess I. No, nah, I should blight offend you, and then. And then grasp. I respond. Yeah, yeah whatever. So I'm gonna I'm respond. Gonna, and I'm then, gonna use my mana and yeah. then get rebuked. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. Go. So, so I returned Scrounger, it was killed by Blighted Fen, and then he yeah. grasped me. Yeah, yeah. Go. I only have to kill Blighted Fen a thousand more times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay, that's right. good. Well, four energy. <laughs> sure. Both on bottom, <laughs> since they're both lands. <laughs> All right, go. All right, make Scrounger. Yep. It. 18. Exemplar. Yep. Go. Um. Murder? Go. Hit. Gear Hulk. Ah! Sure. Glimmer go up to 6 energy. I will or spell, spell Qualler the Glimmer. All right. Uh, block. And four blockers, I'll stay this snare. Negate. All right, four blockers, I'll stay this snare. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> All right, Acre. 15. Go. All right, let's draw a removal spell. Yep, don't do We've that. Got a lot. <laughs> We've got a lot of them. I've already used a lot. All right, grass. Crap. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go up to six energy. Yep. I'm going to keep both. Play no! Those. Your turn. <laughs> That's where it all falls apart. Go. All right. More removal, please. That's all my deck is. Ooh, ooh, that was a good one. Oh, man. Can't even get spell colored. All right. Go to six. Scry. Yep. Top. Draw. Runa's path that. Yeah, my one drops on turn 14 don't look great. Right. Tie for three. Yep. 17, 18. All right, your turn. All right, I admit defeat. No! But I have it all! <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> well fought, though. My draw was pretty good, and you just picked me apart at a lot of spots. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I basically, I, I would have to, you, you'd have to brick like five times. <laughs> it's real bad. All right, well, I think we learned a, a decent amount from playing that video, namely that uh, this blue-black control deck actually has a pretty big problem in defeating Scrap Heap Scrounger with the ability to come back. Um, you know, in, in a deck that has a bunch of spot removal, it's, it's very similar for something like a blue-red control deck as well, where uh, you don't have a lot of removal to exiles unless you play something like Incendiary Flow, uh, which I actually have been advocating in small amounts just because there's no more... Uh, uh, smuggler's Copter to really punish you playing a lot of sorceries. Another reason why I actually like Ruin's Path a lot as well. Yeah, I agree. Um, this is just like a classic problem with these 20 removal spell and then some card draw like control decks. Like you desperately need some way to leverage your like two or three turn advantage. Yeah, I mean, I think that's why Cletus is really good in the deck yeah. and why I was pretty surprised to see that uh, Jim, Jim only main. had one copy in the main. Uh, Turns of Gear Hulk is good, uh, but if you don't draw a card draw, like, this deck doesn't have Anticipate, right? So, like, you, you can't Anticipate into, uh, you know, a Gear Hulk and then Gear Hulk and continue to card draw. It has to be Glimmer of Genius. It's the only card that you can really, you know, press your advantage with. 
Yeah, exactly. And like if your Torrential Gear Hulk dies and you haven't glimmered into something else that's a payoff, then you'll kill a creature or two, but eventually you'll just flood out. Yeah, uh, that was one reason why the blue-red decks that I used to play, I really liked Thing in the Ice, because you were able to play something early, and then while you were killing their creatures, you were playing towards something. Like, your Thing in the Ice flipping was a big deal, and if your opponent didn't kill it before it flipped, a lot of times, you know, it was going to uh, bounce their whole board and usually kill a Planeswalker or start clocking them for seven. And then once you start clocking them for seven, then you have, you know, you still have these card draw spells, these counter spells, these removal spells to not only protect it, but it also clear the way for it to keep attacking. And Cletus is kind of the definition of that in this style yeah. of deck. Uh, as far as Esper Aggro is concerned, uh, looks pretty stockish, very solid. Yeah, it's just all the good cards. Pretty straightforward, kind of what you would expect if you just want to have the most efficient thing on rate every single step of the way. Yeah, it seemed awkward to, to lose two cards from the deck, right? Like you lost Smuggler's Copter and Reflector Mage in the bannings, but the deck felt like it was playing at a reasonable level even aside from that. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm not actually sure if Heart of Kirin is particularly good in this deck because it, it often feels like you're basically just like turning your three power attacker into a four power attacker. Like, because if you don't draw Gideon, then you can't really exploit the Heart of Kirin's ability. Right, but uh, you do have, you know, one drops, two drops, and three drops in your deck that can all turn it on. So mm -hmm. if you play, you know, a Thraven Spectre or something on one, uh, Heart of Kirin on two, you can follow that up on three with either a, a Toolcraft Exemplar, Scrap Heap Scrounger, or Thalia to turn it on. Yeah. But I do agree that three crew is much bigger than one, obviously. Like, uh, it, it's pretty tough to turn on. I, I've played it in a lot of decks, and, and you know, whenever a, a crew usually takes two creatures to activate, that's not ideal. Yeah, I agreed. Uh, it, especially stressed in these kinds of matchups because Todd had so much removal. Yeah, plus the fact that it's legendary, I think, is a big deal, too. You know, in some matchups where your opponent doesn't have removal, uh, you're just going to be kind of sitting on an extra copy in your hand a lot of times. And, you know, Smuggler's Copter was good because it it not only could it pressure Planeswalkers and stuff, but it also was letting you let you loot away excess cards that didn't really have a huge impact on the game, whereas Heart of Kieran doesn't allow you to do that. So uh, you're kind of stuck with your mediocre draws. Yeah, definitely. Um, and the fact that it's legendary means that, you know, it's, it's going to be tough to justify playing more than a couple, I think. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be all for me and Michael Majors today. Make sure you tune in the rest of the week. We got uh, Tom Ross and uh, Ross Merriam, the Ross Bros. <laughs> Uh, they're going to be uh, coming with me and Majors in on some more standard action in preparation for this weekend's SCG Regionals. Uh, that's all I got. Yeah, no, that's a pretty good summation. Well done. Wow. Compliments. All, all right. right. What, is the, what is this? I'm usually playing as Brad, and he's just always making fun of me. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching the Versus at StarCityGames.com. For Michael Majors, I'm Todd Anderson, and we'll see you soon.